July is usually the time for summer vacations and camps, but this summer is different. More families are getting creative in how they're spending time and some looking for more economic options in tough financial times. Close to halfway between Louisville and Lexington, there's one attraction that's welcoming visitors young and old, relaxing for parents and fun learning for kids, and most importantly, it's free. LEX 18's Conroy Deleuze takes us to Josephine Sculpture Park, existing in the new normal in this edition of the Rebound Kentucky. Spread across 30 acres, there's ample room to socially distance at Josephine Sculpture Park. They want to have a picnic or, you know, you know, just a place where their kids can come out and run around and see some things they haven't seen before. That's what Melanie Van Houten imagined when she and her husband returned to her family's old farmland in Frankfurt more than a decade ago and built the sculpture park. I had so many great memories of just running through the fields and, you know, exploring. There are at least 70 different sculptures spread across the rolling hills. And it's free and open every single day of the year from dawn until dusk. Normally, Van Houten would encourage kids curious about art to touch anything and everything. But there's nothing normal about this time. Back on April 2nd, she made the decision to close the park. We were having more visitors than we've ever had, which was amazing and wonderful, but it was also terrifying because we didn't really know what was safe and, and if it was okay for people to be out here. Thanks to a PPP loan that helped pay salaries and the mortgage, Van Houten was able to stay afloat for two months while she purchased hand sanitizer, signs, and helped devise a strategy to safely reopen during a pandemic. I think people are a lot more comfortable with you know, what different regulations are and what's safe and not safe. During the temporary closure, Van Houten built content for social media to stay engaged with the community, a nurture class that combines art and nature and various virtual art classes that continue even now. This is still home to Van Houten, one that she loves sharing with everyone who enters the park. For the kids to have their own experiences, um, exploring new things, and so to to have a space that feel where families feel really comfortable doing that, I think is is a blessing. And with fewer summer options for families, she wonders what better place to spend a long July day than on an old farm. In Frankfurt, Conroy Deluge, LEX 18 News.